Hey everybody, it is KC Coke from realcreativerealorganized.com and I thought today I would show you a video walkthrough of our sanitizing station that you can see on the website at realcreativerealorganized.com. There's all kinds of pictures there, but I thought a video walkthrough would be nice too, just to kind of see it in real life and how we actually use it versus the kind of more staged pictures that I took. So let me flip the camera around and show you our sanitizing station that we use. side door where we enter uh, our squeaky side door. There's the doggos. This is a bench that I brought down from my room because I think it's easier just to sit to take shoes off and on and then I leave my exercise shoes down there also. And then just across the way from there is this little area here that has where I keep my purses that I'm currently using to be able to quickly easily swap those out. And then just down below is where I did this sanitization center for our station for us. I bought this, it's an un, it was an unfinished um, shoe rack that was about $13 on Amazon. And I just painted it with some of the same white trim paint that I used in my hallway. And it allows us to leave a couple pairs of shoes, but then more importantly, on top is where I have all the sanitizing station stuff that we're using right now with coming and going with COVID-19. So first of all, I've got a sign up here to remind us all in case we've forgotten. And you can find all of these in my shop at Etsy. When we're leaving, these are the things we do. When we're arriving, these are the things we do. And the printables are also just have one that just has a big sanitization station if you don't want this there. Um, and then I found this cute little bin at Target and thought it was perfect. It was actually in their bathroom section. It was meant that you could stack it, but it has all of our clean face masks in it. And I thought it was perfect with the lid to keep them clean until um, we're gonna use them. So, and you can see that is labeled with clean face masks. And um, you could very easily, in the printables, I have one that says dirty face mask, so you could have a second container to put those in. My laundry room happens to be right here and we just toss them in a little lingerie bag to wash them when we get home. So that's convenient for us. But, and then with the printables, I have these that mark where everything is supposed to go. So let's say if you were using these in a classroom or some other setting or just even with young kids so that they know exactly where things are supposed to be returned to. Um, and then for us, we're using rubbing alcohol with these little cotton rounds. There's the sticker that tells where those go. And then, yeah, on the inside of that jar are all the little cotton rounds that we just put some of the rubbing alcohol on and wipe down our phones. So there's the stickers for those things again. Um, this little bottle I got on Amazon for like $6 to put the rubbing alcohol in and it's really handy because it locks in place and then you twist it to unlock it and then you just press down and you've got your wet cotton round that you can just swipe on your phone to clean it and um, what I've read is that you should you can clean everything you just don't want to uh, go across the camera because apparently at least on an iPhone they say don't do the camera Got a couple different styles of labels. So if you don't like these, I've got some really cute little animal ones and some cute llama and cactus ones. And there's the pl place marker for that one. And then the disinfecting wipe, it's just a regular jar of the wipes that I just taped the printable to. And a little hint when you go to tape it, tape it a little bit large, because I had done one of them. Um, I printed it on cardstock and I had done one of them and I did it tight and then it wouldn't fit on the next jar, but this one slides off and on really easy, so I'll be able to fit it on the next jar. And then there's the sticker where that gets placed back, so you know exactly where it goes. <clears throat> and then what we've been doing, if you, like my, uh, we're going places, like when my daughter goes to work at, or she works at a restaurant, and so when she's working a shift, she puts a filter, our masks have a spot for a filter. So we have these in little baggies here, because you can wear them up to, I think it was up to seven times, so each person has their initial, and then just a little tally mark on the filter, and it's in a little baggie. So that's what we have those there for, and then the little Sharpie for being able to mark them. One of the things that we take with us is some hand sanitizer, so we have those to grab and go as we head out the door. So right there by the face mask to make that easy. 
and like I said, this is it was all pretty darn inexpensive, and it's just right here by the door that we come in and out of all the time, so that makes it really easy to remember to do all this. And then behind that door is um, my guest bathroom, so we can keep everything contained right here and wash our hands right here. Again, all the information about this is on my site at realcreativerealorganized.com and you can get all the printables in my Etsy shop, which I also link on my website. So either place um, to find those so you can get your setup really quick, really easy, and even really cute, which is to me the favorite part. <laughs> Getting it organized and cute. Love it. All right, see you in the next video.